we remember about that last year about the Michigan State, just how much control you guys had of that game and, and to kind of see it fall apart and how you were ready to get back up and take another shot at those guys. Yeah, I mean, obviously that game didn't turn out how we wanted it. Um, didn't execute at the end to get it done, but yeah, we're ready to go for this weekend to get, to get back at them and get a win. Yeah. How, how do you see this team just being honest with the film about you know the day after? Yeah, I mean, um, we always try to go out there and do the best we can to not have that happen. But that always that always is the case. Like you can make a good play, but there's always something um, on the other side that you got to look at and fix and be like, hey, like if we don't fix this, they're gonna hit us with this next week. Um, so there's al there's always something to fix on every play. Um, but I think we got guys flying around to the ball that really help um, not allow that a lot of the time. So, um, but yeah, that's something that we have to take in on Sunday and be like, hey, we got to fix this. It's more focus on what we need to fix more than what we did well. So. Even you just asked about Coach Voracek. He said he was nurturing coach. He'll get on you, but nurturing. It, it just, what have he meant to you or you, you've grown uh, as a player with him coaching? Um, he's helped me a lot. Um, I think he coaches me in a way that I can relate to and be able to react the way I need to to play on the field. Um, so, I mean, he's helping the guys out a lot. I mean, I know this. He's not. This is. He's early in this. Like he's young to be doing this too. So, um, we're relating to him. He's relating to us. I mean, he's doing a great job right now. Um, just helping us out. First year that you've been, you know, anywhere close to this number of, of reps. How eight games in are, are you feeling um, physically? And and I think also you took a you took a pretty big hit, a blindside block in that in the, yep. the second half. How did how did you uh, how did you feel after that one? Uh, didn't feel good in the moment, um, but I shook it off. Was ready to go again, but coach didn't put me back in because two minutes left. But uh, yeah, body's feeling great. Uh, banged up a little bit, just as everybody is. Um, but yeah, no injuries so far, which I'm happy about. Um, knock on wood. Uh, but yeah, feeling good. John, earlier in the year, you guys, a lot of your turnovers were coming. Fourth quarter outcome of the game was pretty much decided. Lately, it seems the turnovers have been a little bit more timely and in key situations. What has kind of led to that change, I guess? Um, from a defensive side, I was yeah, gonna, from a defensive side. Um, I think we've just really um, been emphasizing it in practice, um, just getting the ball out, punching at the ball, ripping at the ball just any way you can. First guy, tackle him. Second guy, come in, rip it out. Um, like Jamari had a hell of a play where he came and punched it from behind the guy in the game. Um, so I think it's just been something we've been emphasizing in practice that's kind of helped us out. Like to go to the you've asked you about you know Alex and him playing a lot too and going through it together. But just as you get into the grind of a season, the ups and downs that go with it, what's it like having that that brotherly connection? Yeah, it's great. I mean, we always hang on each other. I mean, if we have a bad play, if we have a good play, we're always there to support each other. Um, it feels good because not everyone can have that connection with someone on the team. So. Um, like, yeah, he muffed the punt, for example, in the game. Sucks, but I'm there for him. I'm there to pick him up. He's he's not scared, so he's not worried about it. Um, so, yeah, I think it's always good to have someone to rely on. He's also played I, some of the most snaps on offense. Is it kind of thrilling for you to see that happening for him? Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, he's always been a hard worker. Um, <clears throat> just going to give it everything he got every play. So you can't tell if he's playing one snap or 80 snaps. He's always going to give it his 100% every play, so. Hey John, what are some of the challenges that Michigan State's offense presents? Um, they like to, uh, their running backs likes to get downhill. He runs very hard. Um, um, I think their linemen are pretty, pretty good for the most part. Um, but yeah, I'd say 
our main focus is to stop the run game this week again, um, just because they're back so good. Um, he'll drive his feet. We got to be able to create turnovers and get the ball out when he keeps driving his feet. Punch the ball any time we can. Um, yeah, get turnovers, help the offense out. Um, so yeah, I think turnovers in run game is a big emphasis this week. Thanks, guys. Thank you.